Herren aus Wasser liegen. Wenn es dem internationalen Finanzjudentum in und außerhalb Europas gelingen sollte, die Völker noch einmal in einen Weltkrieg zu stürzen, dann wird das Ergebnis nicht der Sieg des Judentums sein, sondern die Vernichtung der jüdischen Rasse in Europa. It began in 1933 with the imprisonment of those whom the Nazis believed to be the enemies of the German people. But Adolf Hitler's speech in the Reichstag on January 30th, 1933 started off the greatest global campaign of genocide in human history. It has since been called the Holocaust, the systematic extermination of primarily the Jewish people of Europe, and is now generally regarded as one of the greatest atrocities humanity has ever achieved. The Nazis believed that Jews were impure. If they had caused the First World War and thus the suffering Germany now had to withstand, so Hitler's solution to the quote-unquote Jewish problem? Annihilation. By 1942, the United States was being told about the Holocaust. The message was first transmitted to the State Department in August 1942 when a telegram was sent to the President of the World Jewish Congress, Stephen Weiss. By December 17, 1942, the U.S., partnering with the rest of the Allies, announced to the world of the Nazis' intentions and announced the extermination of the Jews. Outside of a minor aid program for some Holocaust refugees, this announcement would be the end of Franklin Delano Roosevelt's policy on the Holocaust. The Roosevelt administration cited a desire to preserve economic and military resources for the fight against Nazism. Alongside the government's lack of action was a lack of interest and attentiveness the American people held for the events. The greatest detriment to any of this information becoming important was a general air of disinterest and conscious ignorance. For many people, including the Jews, the information of great Nazi atrocities against Jews seemed exaggerated. In fact, in many cases it probably was. For example, there are reports, even included in the telegram to Weiss, that the Nazis were using corpses of dead Jews to make soap. These convictions have since been disregarded as hearsay by historians, but nonetheless, they are a good example of how stories can be made overly excited. In all, Unlike other such occurrences in history, Americans were decidedly indifferent about the Holocaust. It was not a lack of information, but instead a failure to interpret the information in a way that provided the best picture, and the big picture. At the same time, the events of the Nazis' extermination of political opponents and eventually the European Jewry have been hyped by the discourse of the last 60 years regarding those events. Upon the military entering the camps throughout 1944 and 1945, followed, of course, by film crews. The American public gained a renewed picture of the Holocaust. Soon, newsreels flooded with images of the decrepit victims of Nazi work camps and death camps. The greatest effect the U.S. and other Allied militaries had on the Holocaust was that the forces moved in on the camps. At the same time, the Nazi SS started moving prisoners into the countryside of Poland and Germany. Once there, they would execute large numbers of the prisoners at once in order to destroy the evidence of their crimes. The Holocaust was a terrible tragedy. It killed millions of people and is a perfect display of the levels human cruelty can achieve. For Americans, the events were unimportant. The government was either unable or unwilling to have any decisive action, and the military was very li had very little ability to effect any change until the very end of the war. But nonetheless... The Holocaust is seen as a tragedy unlike any other in history, and the victims are now honored in their memories, museums, and memorials that populate Europe and the United States. <laughs>